having one of these bad boys. Basically a sign you made it. You showed those high school bullies. I'm gonna shut his mouth. And I'm gonna take the bully's lunch money. In this video, I'm gonna be asking Miami supercar owners how they got rich so I don't have to start an OnlyFans to get one. Huh? Chase that motherfucker. He's really like, we're robbing his ass. What do you do for a living? Real estate. Real estate? How much money do you make a year? Over half a million. Over half a million dollars? What's one piece of advice you would give to 18-year-old version of yourself? Go to school. Go to school? And study what? Finance. Study finance? Did you lose a lot of money in crypto? Uh, kind of, yeah. Kind of? Yeah, it's rebounding though, it's good. Yeah, it's coming back right now. Yeah. What do you do for a living? I'm a jeweler. You're a jeweler? Yes, I am. Damn. What's one piece of advice you would give young people looking to get into business? Keep working hard, don't stop. Just keep working hard? Keep working hard. Are, are you a millionaire? I might not want to answer that with the tax man. All right, yeah. so keep working hard. Any other advice? Keep working hard and stay stay on point. You know, keep going for that gold. Keep going for the gold. Thank you, bro. What do you do for a living? He eats. He eats? All he eats. That's all he eats? Oh, okay. Thank you, buddy. Hey, buddy, when that's red, you're going to walk. Look at all of them. Look at all of them. Get them on the camera. How you down? Get them on the camera. How you down? Hey, the light's red, buddy. How you down? How you down? All right. Next interview, baby. Fresh, you wanna do a quick interview? What do you do for a living? Um, I sell people hope and dreams. All right, awesome, bro. See you around. That's funny. Rather than running up to cars on the street all day, why not hit up a friend who just bought a brand spanking new supercar and see what he has to say? Yo, what up, Ben? How you doing? Oh, what's up, brother? I'm not even doing? gonna. I'm not gonna pretend like this isn't. Pre-planned. You down to do a quick interview? <laughs> let's do it. All right, let's get in. What is this thing? So it's a Porsche 911 Turbo. It's not the new one. It's 2019. It's a nice little whip. It's a drop top. Unfortunately, it's not that nice of a day out, so we can't put the top down. But that's the best for the ladies, eh? Yeah, it is. You don't have blonde hair. It's best when you have blonde hair blowing in the wind. Yeah, the convertible's <laughs> a move. I can, I can, I can vouch for that. All right, let's get on the road. <laughs> All right, so Ben, what are you, 23? 23. 23 years old. Where did you start off to where you can now afford, how much is this car, like 100 grand? It was 160. Oh, 160 with at tax, 23, yeah. Tax. So it started just like fucking trying shit, bro. One thing kind of just led into the next, bro. Like that's, that's the biggest thing is when I started, uh, when I started videography, I was like, this is my fucking thing. Like this is what I'm gonna do with the rest of my life. I'm gonna like, this is sick. And then that led me into Ecom Ad Creatives and then that kind of taught me how to build an agency and then I started the basketball marketing agency and then that led me into the info product world and now that's what I'm doing. So I think if there's like one key takeaway from my journey, it's just that like you'll never know exactly how your path is gonna look. You're never know, gonna know step five when you're on step one. But as long as you go in the right direction, you're, things are just gonna unfold. You kind of win over luck. like. As long as you, as long as you go in the general vicinity, things will work out for you. But you have to have enough, enough trust and faith in yourself that that's all you need to do. Yeah, it's just like I, I call it pushing the snowball, where you do that first action and it leads into a bunch of different things. How much do you even have to like work a week right now doing this kind of thing? So I have a little team now. Um, it's me and two of my boys that um, also kind of have a similar skill set. Right now, bro, honestly, like I, I don't work a ton. Uh, except for when we get a new client, they need like a new funnel build. That's if, like if, if, if you considered uh, going on dates with new girls, <laughs> that job, work as well. Yeah, you'd be fucking <laughs> hormozy, buddy. <laughs> that is true. Are you comfortable with answering how much you make in a year? Yeah, I think this year uh, with the agency in total, we'll probably do a little over 800k. If you had to start over again from zero, nothing, no personal brand, mm -hmm. no money. What would you do? Honestly, so like it, it'll also depend on how quickly I needed money. So there are different vehicles that I think you can make money faster, but you pigeonhole yourself a little bit. So like if you need to make 10K a month as quickly as humanly, humanly possible, I'd probably start with like something like sales because that's very easy to get into. It's just gonna cap you at probably 20, 30K a month. If you had a bit more time, I think it makes more sense to do something like an agency or copywriting or even uh, what you're doing with like teaching people how to, how to build up these TikTok accounts mm -hmm. um, because that's a real skill that can eventually lead you into 
something else where not to say sales can't do that but it's just a little bit harder because it's kind of a one-dimensional skill yeah i know what you mean with the creativity program stuff for example like it's not worth my time to try to scale fucking 10 different accounts to 10k a month like that the headache with that is going to be unbelievable but i can have my own account and then teach other people to do the same shit that's what we're waiting on <laughs> Yes, sir. Thank you so much, Thank bro. you for having me on, bro. Appreciate it's been that. a pleasure. The wise wisdom. All right, gotta go find some more supercars. Yes, sir. Good luck. All right. All right. Ben just dropped me off. Hopefully, we run into someone else soon. Two hours later. What's up, bro? What are you doing here? Dude, I was just, I was just looking for people with supercars. Can I get in? It's get raining, in. bro. It's raining. How do you open this shit? When do you get this thing? Literally last night, bro. Last night yeah. you bought this? What are you, 21? 21. 21. No, it feels weird for me too. Like for anyone who thinks like that these guys that are young with like a supercar, they're just like at a different level. I want you to realize like I'm still super like childish. Like I would rip like a pack of Gushers, bro. I'll fuck those up. Like, <laughs> You'll fuck up some Gushers. I'm a normal guy, dude. Like I, I, I go on dates, I, I, I'm a normal guy. The fact is, is that I realized there's super easy ways to make a lot of money and I leverage those. And then you can just buy little toys like this. What did you get started out with, with making money? So a lot of people think it was like two, three years. It's been a half a decade. I dropped out of high school at 16. I'm about to turn 22, so it's actually close to- But you dropped out of high school? Yeah, I have no GED. What the fuck? <laughs> if you had to start from zero, what would you do? The true key is realizing that the grass is green where you water it. Not on the other side. Do something and do it really fucking well and then get a cool toy. Don't don't spread your focus out all over the place, basically. Exactly, dude. Everyone, oh my God. Dude, I literally, this was happening to me my first few years. I'm like, dude, I have to get into this new style of editing or you need this, you need that. Like this person, dude, look at Tate, bro. Tate crushed everyone, ripped his editing style. Then a few months later, I think you were the person who put me on. You're like, bro, like have your own vibe. And that's the key, dude. You gotta realize that the grass is green where you water it, where you put your time and effort. That's where shit gets better. That's where life gets good. I gotta go buy some shit. You wanna come? Yeah, I'm down. What would you say the biggest way money has impacted your life? Having money, it definitely doesn't buy happiness. I think that word buy happiness is shitty. Becker says, he's like, yeah, you think money doesn't buy happiness, well enjoy spending 70% of your life fucking working week to week. Yeah, I mean, if you're working a job, like being an entrepreneur, doing any side hustle, it's just buying time and that's priceless. Jacob, I appreciate the interview. Yeah, that was obviously planned. I'm not gonna pretend like that wasn't planned. You know, I'm not gonna be faking <laughs> that shit, but uh, yeah. You, you guys will know which ones aren't planned. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for the interview, bro. Okay, that was bro, fucking this lit. Great. I'm gonna go try to find some more motherfuckers. We were just chilling downstairs um, as I was leaving Jacob, and we ran into one of his friends. What's your name, Dash, right? Dash, yeah, Dash. You're down, to, you're down to do a quick interview? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Wait, what is this car? This is uh, Aston Martin Vantage. Aston Martin Vantage. What do you do for a living? I'm the founder of Fanbases. We've built a marketplace where celebrities, athletes, and influencers can sell digital experiences to their fans. So, what, what's it like building like a? That sounds like a pretty fucking big business. Managing all those employees, doing all that shit at, at 24. Like, what's <laughs> no, that like? It's been exciting, but a lot of fucking work. I'll tell you that. How much are you doing? Are you guys doing a year right now? Between, I'll tell you this. Between all my businesses total, we're doing um, close to about 25 million a year. Bruh. 25 mil a year right now at yeah. 24? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fucking insane. <laughs> wow. If you had to start from zero, mm -hmm. like you had nothing. I don't know if you have a personal brand right now, but you had all you had was your skill sets. What would you do? First thing I would do is, you know, basically I like to structure my business in two ways. I have some sort of cash flow streams coming in and then use that to propel a long-term vision kind of business. If you were to tell your 17 year old self one piece of advice, what would you say? When I was 17, I actually sold my first business. But what, what'd you sell that for? Um, it was, you know, that was in the large exit. That was in, you know, mid six figure range. Uh, but at 17, that's pretty fucking fun. It was, it was good money for the time for sure. In my opinion, I never want to be the, you know, most successful person in my friend group. That means I'm in the wrong friend groups. You know, it's just kind of leveling that up and putting the right people around you, exposing yourself to opportunities. Having a good network is probably the most rewarding thing that you can have. And I wish, you know, I've been building my network for a while, but I, you know, wish I did more even when I was younger. Does a supercar buy happiness? Uh, I wouldn't say it buys happiness, but it definitely creates a little bit of happiness. It's fun to drive. It helps. <laughs> How does it help with the ladies? Uh, I have a girlfriend, so it helped. Um, Help secure the bag? Yeah, yeah I guess so. <laughs> awesome. All right, bro, I appreciate it. What is this fucking thing? We got another McLaren? Another McLaren. Look at that, I know how to open the door now. Bro, are they all different? Underneath, underneath on the bottom. 
Under the handle. Under the handle. Oh, motherfucker. If you had to talk to 18 year old Kyle six years ago, Ooh. what would you tell yourself? Honestly, keep doing what you're doing. Just yeah. that's it, or you don't want to fuck up the path. Just no, keep doing what you're doing. Keep doing what you're doing. I played like a very like high risk, high reward game. So yeah, I mean, 18 was right when I dropped out of college. So that was kind of like the contemplation of if it was gonna end up well. What were you studying in college? Um, I mean, I, I was there for 34 days. But yeah, yeah, <laughs> was, I, was, uh, I was in college for a year and I passed. I mean, I uh, failed every class. Yeah, and it was uh, business administration. Business? That's the funniest fucking thing, going to school to study business. Yeah, like, well, just start one, bro. Does Supercar buy happiness? I would say it's uh, it's temporary happiness. Temporary happiness? Yeah, temporary happiness. It can definitely like provide like small amounts of joy on the day-to-day -day basis. Buying the car is always fun. Whipping to the gym is always fun, but like, I don't think it leads to fulfillment. How does it help the ladies? It's Does it actually do stuff? Like it helps with the girls either? Um, I would say if you use it wisely. If you use it wisely and use it in the right ways, like I would say not just be the guy who's just going around like flashing the car, but if you do it in the right ways, it can definitely help. It's credibility, I guess, in a sense. Yeah, if it's all you have, you're fucked, basically. Yeah, exactly. If you have a supercar, but you can't talk to people then, you're cooked. If you had to start from zero again, nothing, all you have is your skill sets and your brain, what would you do? I would do the exact same thing I did now, although, I would have done a lead generation program for buying and s buying and flipping e-com brands back in the day because I could have killed in that, but I didn't know like how to actually build uh, a sales system. What's the biggest way that money has impacted your life? My definition of happiness and like what really makes me happy is doing amazing things with the people I care about most, which money allows that to happen easily. So it's like, yeah, I could go on you know like a camping trip with my family without much money, but also just being able to like take your family, take your friends on, you know, a trip to St. Tropez or to St. Bart's, etc. That's like it makes uh happiness a lot more accessible. So it makes your life easier. Alright bro. Later, bro. I'll see you in a bit. I'll see you bro. Like, subscribe, and if you want to learn from me live on how you can make money posting short form content, I'm hosting a free live call later this week whenever you're watching it. So if you want to register, check the link at the top of the description to see if there's any more spots. Later, guys.